I know, I know. I went on Google Maps. I went on Google... my channel so today I'm doing a mukbang because you guys always love my mukbangs I will never understand exactly why but apparently you seem to love them and it's been a while since I've done one so it's time today today is the day so um me and mum decided to order Domino's today I know I know I know. So we have some Domino's pizza here. Um, I don't know exactly which one it is, but it's got, you're either going to love me or hate me, pineapple. I know, I know, yes, yes, I am that person. Come at me. It is what it is. Um, and then we've got jalapenos, peppers, and I think that's it. And then this is the garlic and herb dip. If you know, do you know what? I'm just going to mix it up. This is the garlic and herb dip. If you know, you know. And if you don't know, then you need to get to know because then I'm very disappointed. But it makes it, it makes it. And then here we have some salad. So I'm, I'm actually really hungry. I feel like this is gonna tip. Oh yeah, and I just have water. I feel like I need to take this ring off because it's just gonna get in the way. This is so good. So. I feel like I've not really like sat down and chatted to you guys for a really, really long time. I think the last time was probably my last mukbang. Um. But I feel like a lot's, a lot's gone down, so obviously we're still all in lockdown. Actually, this video isn't going up just yet, so by the time you see this, I reckon we might actually not be in lockdown. But, right now I'm in lockdown, so... So, I have literally, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you already know this. I've been putting so much effort into my, like, my content. Both there and on here for you guys. And, guys, Insta just kind of started to blow. And I still can't really get my head around it. At the start of lockdown, I think I was on like, no, about 2000, right? On Insta. Now, I'm on, I'm on 10.8, 10.8. Can we fathom that or not so much? Because personally, not so much. I think it's mad, like, it's all happened really, really quickly. And like, because it just happened out of nowhere, I low key wasn't prepared. Like it does, as in, in the sense that it doesn't feel like real just yet. Because it wasn't like a gradual thing. It was like literally immediate. So I'm just like, oh my days, this is madness. Um, good kind of madness, but madness. So I don't know, it's been a little bit overwhelming in an exciting way though. Like everything starts to happen, you're just like, oh my god, it's happening, it's happening. So it's been really good. But yeah, so that's been like taking up all my time. I've been really active on there, doing lives with you guys and like um, making sure I'm posting a lot on stories and all of that. 
So yeah, it's been really exciting actually. So I feel like, I felt like lockdown has been like a blessing in disguise, but not really in much of a disguise. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like quite a few people's businesses have really kind of popped off or their brand or whatever has really kind of made more of a mark during this time. But yeah, so it's actually been really good. I feel like at the start of lockdown, I was proper like, I was proper like on oh my days like, I can't take this. I need normality. Um, but now, kind of used to it, and like, I'm not that mad about it, you know. I feel like this was an adaptation that everyone kind of needed. Everyone needed like a reset, I think. Just remind you of what's important to you and like reinforce your priorities, take some time out. You know what I mean? Like I feel like everyone kind of needed this time. Oh my god, so yes I had McDonald's for the first time. Can I just say, they reduced their menu, right? They've shortened it. Yet they took off the veggie burger from the shortened menu. Okay, so update, I just found out that I went to a branch which had a reduced menu, so no one get alarmed in case you start freaking out over this, but um, yeah, it's not necessarily true, it depends what branch you go to, because I found out some places still have like a normal menu, so um, yeah, false alarm guys, false alarm. Is anyone else like triggered or personally offended by that? Because hi, yeah, me, I am McDonald's, I would like to complain, what is that about? guys i have got so organized during this time i have like a little um i say little it's not little i have like a wall chart thing for the year and i have planned on it every single video until the first week of september can we eat that i have planned every video two videos a week until september i've not filmed them i've just planned them like okay not even planned i'm just like decided what I'm filming where. Isn't that a bit mad? And guys, I've been so hooked on Grey's Anatomy. I started watching it, not even the beginning of lockdown, which is shameful when I tell you how much of it I've watched. I started watching it maybe, mm. Two months ago? Was it two months? I'd say, let's say about two months ago. I'm halfway through season 10. Season 10. There's like 24, 25 episodes in a season and they're one hour episodes. I literally watch it when I'm doing anything and everything, like, doing my makeup, watching Grey's Anatomy. Taking off my makeup, watching Grey's Anatomy. In between doing my makeup and taking on my makeup, watching Grey's Anatomy. Lying in bed trying to fall asleep, watching Grey's Anatomy. Like I'm just watching it all the time. I literally love medical shows. Like my favorite program of all time is ER. I have said it on here before, but if you're new, by the way, hi, my name's Debbie and my favorite program is ER. It was a, like a really old medical show, kind of similar to Grey's Anatomy. And everyone told me like, oh my days, you would love Grey's Anatomy, you would love Grey's Anatomy. And I was like, pff, pff, some like fake remake of ER, like no thank you. I'm sorry. I actually am so sorry that I didn't put respect on Grey's Anatomy because your girl is now hooked. I love it. I'm so invested. So yeah, that's like providing me with a lot of sanity and happiness right now. But day to day, I've literally just been filming either content for YouTube or been doing content for Insta. Mm. Or TikTok, can't forget about that. <sighs> Do 
Do you ever get when you're so hungry, you're eating really quick, then your jaw is like aching? Because you can't keep up with how hungry you are. I feel ashamed at the fact I'm not mixing flavours in this mukbang. I'm sorry. I didn't have any flavours to mix. I know, I'm a disappointment. I'm sorry, I know. On my days also, I started listening to um, one of the artists that I used to be obsessed with when I was like 16, 17. And she was really, really small back then. Like she was a really small undercover like alternative artist and no one really knew her. But I used to listen to her legit like on repeat when I was studying for my A-levels. Her name is Banks. Purple Alternative. Not my usual vibe, but I love her music. Anyway. I remember when I used to be revising for my A-levels in the library of my ends, which was really, really bait. When I tell you, that library was so bait. If you know, you know. Like, it was the biggest social gathering that you could actually ever imagine. Like, it was mad. Anyways, I was going there like every day to study. And I used to listen to Banks on repeat. Legit on repeat the entire like exam season and now anytime I listen to Banks it just takes me back like completely like straight away it takes me back and I've literally been listening to her on repeat the last few days but it's low-key been getting me like really weirdly nostalgic because it reminds me of like where I used to live <gasps> and it reminds me of my old ends like so much and I miss it I literally miss it I feel like I've <coughs> what was I saying what was I talking about I say it on my lives yeah I feel like I've said it in quite a few lives I literally miss my old ends so much like as soon as I'm able to I'm going back like for a day trip, I don't mean to live there, but like, I miss it so much. Like I went through this phase a few weeks ago. This is gonna sound really pathetic and really sad, but I'm just gonna own it. I'm literally here to firm it. I missed it so much, I went on Google Maps. I know, I know, I went on Google Maps. I went on Google, This wouldn't be a video of mine if I didn't drop something. Um, I went on Google Maps and I searched like every like place in my old ends and I was like walking through it on the laptop. I know. Street view is a beautiful thing. <gasps> no! I dropped a jalapeno. Okay, I'm kind of full. Oh my days, I forgot to take my thumbnail pic. Why do I do this to myself? I actually make my life so much harder. Well, there's no food left, so well done, baby, for remembering right at the last minute. Oh my days, guys, me and my mum watched Black Swan the other day. Bit bookie. It's quite bookie. Why did no one warn me? It's actually really bookie, like such a weird film. But also very deep. The meaning behind it, I think, was very powerful. It was a really bloody film. Okay. I'm about to enter a food coma, so I think I'm going to end this here. Okay, I'm going to finish this later because I'm really full. But. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this one. And if you want more mukbangs, don't forget to let me know down below. Let me know your thoughts. Also, give this video a like. Please. 
thank you um, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I would really really appreciate it also don't forget to follow me on Instagram go check it out go check it out um, and yeah thank you guys so much for the love I love you all so much stay safe stay positive and I will see you all next time Mwah. bye guys Thank you.